Hey everybody, just making a recording. Definitely wanna point out this guy behind me. I, will, I brought my son to, um, he wanted to get some shirts. I know he's a perp, you know, but I still try to be a, a mother to him and, and be kind and be loving and keep my promises. Anyways, as soon as I came to my truck, this guy comes out literally to the truck right behind me, like the exact time that I parked. And this lady's coming out too, it's a pretty busy area. Um, but anyways, he's just sitting behind me like, he, he got in like he was done shopping, now he, is just sitting behind me and been sitting behind me the whole time and then I look over and it's this bright red truck. So I'm just praying in the name of Jesus. I have my Bible with me and crushing the serpent's head as best as I can. I don't like going out. I don't like driving. These people are straight demonic. They're straight evil, you know, and they don't, they don't care about being evil. They just thriving and they they don't care about what they're doing to people's lives i definitely feel electronic weaponry um as i'm sitting here and, and i was praying and i felt the devil being crushed in the name of jesus then i feel this vibration like through my back like they're trying to hit me in my back with like I said, electronic weaponry. And mind you, like I said, this guy is still sitting in his truck behind me. For whatever reason, he's just sitting there. For what, I don't know why he's still sitting behind me. Um, so, anyways, this is what I... And then, you know, it's like, I'm not that bright to where everybody has to look in my window at me. It's kind of like they're not looking at me. They're looking for me. And so when I'm sitting places, they're looking for my vehicle, seeing if they can spot it, looking for me. So it's not like um, they look, you can't see me barely because I'm in my car. And it's not like I'm hanging out the window or it's the summertime and the window's down all these cars they're not looking at nobody else's car but they look at mine why are you looking for me oh oh i see you want free coupons and whatever material things you can get from harassment now these guys go undercover they say they secret shoppers if you're a secret shopper why are you looking in the parking lot aren't you supposed to be following people around in stores what are you watching me sit for these people are pitiful but you know i pray for them in the mighty name of jesus that god would convict their hearts that he would bind the demon that's using them that he would bind the strong man that's using them in the name of jesus christ that the devil would is rebuked in the mighty name of Jesus. I remember my daughter had a panic attack. It was about a year ago when we were in the same area. It's a very controlled shopping area. These people are under mind control. Um, and my daughter started to have a panic attack. Now I had never had it at that time in this area, but with me being more sensitive to the spirit realm, I sensed it before I even drove this way. That's why I was praying the whole way here and just um, staying on guard. You know, you don't want to. Yeah, I'm set free. My sins are forgiven. But these people are still basically like harassing me. They try to get whatever they can free, anything they can free. They're not doing it for any other purpose but material gain. They're not doing it for the good of anyone but themselves and what, what material wealth they could gain from it. They don't have conviction because they're, they could possibly, you know, have consciences that may be seared and they need to repent for it. They need to repent. They need to turn back to Jesus or turn to Jesus before it's too late. 
because regardless of whatever happens to me, I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. I'm forgiven by the blood of Jesus. I'm sanctified by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Here she go. Um, so it's just, it's a, a lot of witchcraft and demonic play. And I just rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind Satan in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And I bind him even more. I wrap the cords of the chains of heaven around Satan's ankles. And I pray that every demon he assigned against me will drag him into hell fire. Right now in the name of Jesus. I command him to loose me now in the name of Jesus Christ. The name that is above every name cannot ban me from a world that is no longer yours jesus took the keys back he defeated del he he defeated hell death and the grave now i'm just going to go into scripture because these people they don't listen to words they they run from the word of god so that's where i go to the word and i just begin to read the word Let's see. It says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret. And this is Luke chapter 5. And saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship now when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught and simon answering said unto him master we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net and when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him, at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so, also, so was also James and John, and sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. 